for many concerned residents of Kaswa, they are very much worried about the fact that the town has gained notoriety for all kinds of criminal activities. Barely a week ago, a 40-year-old man, Stephen Inter, was shot at close range in broad daylight by a known assailant at Opekuma Junction, a suburb of Kaswa. The assailants made away with an undisclosed amount of money in an envelope. The motive for the attack remains unknown. On Saturday, April 3, a 10-year-old boy, known by his peers as Ishmael, was also killed allegedly by some teenagers with the intention of using his body parts for rituals. This has reignited fears among some residents, with many criticizing the Ghana Police Service of doing very little to tackle crime in the area. Some of them who spoke to City News called on authorities to rise up to the task in the fight against crime. Others suggest that the police falls on the military for support to achieve their objective. Kaswa has grown. Kaswa is now like a metropolitan something. Some people move from uh, Medina to Kaswa to trade. So it's as if the population of Kaswa is growing larger and larger. So our security personnel over here are not enough for Kaswa. I will actually advise the government to actually instigate or put in place the visible police, something that was, uh, was introduced some years past. You know, when there are security personnel anywhere, when you are in difficulty, you can call them. But now, maybe around Dukad, I was, I was even um, in the morning, 6 o'clock, I was witnessing people I mean, monitoring people who are sitting in a bus to snatch their, their mobile phones. Morning, 6 o'clock. Sometimes it's unfortunate living in Kaswa here because um, the number of times we've recorded so many um, insecurity stories, killing someone, someone being um, shooted, someone being kidnapped, someone being this. In fact, it is very frustrating. And what I think is we, we, we must and we should mass up um, police personnel, so many of them here in Kaswa, because, you see, people are migrating, people are coming to Kaswa. So definitely we will record such um, incidents and cases. What we have to do is, is to make sure our security agencies are very tight so that they can, I mean, help us, protect us and um, avoid those kind of things. It's quite unfortunate that we keep on recording um, so many criminal activities in Kaswa. You know, a lot of people are migrating to Kaswa. Um, um, on the average, every week, about 80 households move to Kaswa. And it tells you that Accra is choked. Therefore, a lot of people are moving into Kaswa. So my advice to city authority would be they should ensure that there is enough security presence in the town. Also, people, parents should take caution. You just don't give birth and then leave your children to be gallivanting just like that. The Gumwa Buduburam Enclave is alleged to be a den of criminals with majority of persons living there being foreigners. Sir Chukwamaka Azibukwe is the president of the Nigerian community in the area. We have police posts here, and I know the police posts here, they are doing extremely well. They are doing well. But I am telling you, among 12, there must be Judas. Do you understand? Among 12, there must be Judas. Most of these things that happen, they call Bujumbura. Something will happen at Big Apple. They will say Bujumbura. Bujumbura is the settlement of foreigners. So uh, it, it's unfortunate that Bujumbura has gotten that forceful identity. But I am telling you, like you have been coming to Bujumbura, have you, have you been molested? Have you heard that there was a robbery case in Bujumbura? No. Have you seen that the way they took the tech phones from you in Kasua? Have you heard about it here? Calvin Stetter, City News. I would to say East.